the way. Coronavirus. <laughs> Around the country against stay-at-home orders, the protesters rallying in state capitals, calling the orders too extreme and a violation of their rights. Uh, let me read to you what the CDC director has just told the Washington Post. Quote, there's a possibility that the assault of the virus on our nation next winter will actually be even more difficult. I was off work this whole week, so I spent some time just watching films, to be honest. This is kind of my way of studying. Hey guys, what's up? Here you go. Ah! Hey Bri. I also managed to play a ton of Call of Duty. Nice work. Well done. Now, I don't have a game system. So, when my nephew came by and let me borrow his PS4, I just couldn't help but game. It just felt like old times. I think this is a very interesting time period. People are getting laid off everywhere and the government is giving people an additional $600 on top of their unemployment benefits. In some cases, it pays more to be unemployed. This is literally a once in a lifetime opportunity. You wanna be productive? You got time. You wanna relax and do nothing? Go ahead, the job market's closed everywhere. There's never going to be a time like this where doing nothing is both profitable and look great according to society because you're doing your part by staying home. You almost get to live life as a teenager, but without the school part and your weekly allowance is coming straight from the government. Unless you're an essential worker or a small business owner. Now that's where things get complicated. <laughs> 